Godzilla was amazing. I highly recommend going. Uh, met so many people, a free diving course, and having my own places day was just really, really cool. And I'm going to miss everybody actually. And yesterday I didn't really want to leave, but um, it's time to move on. So heading to Belize. Um, there's two major ways to get to Belize um, from Utila. Uh, you can get there from Utila on a sailboat, I understand. Um, that's like $200, it takes four days, I think. Um, and then the other option is by land, which means that you have to go to Honduras mainland and then to Guatemala and then from Guatemala into Belize. Um, now, I well, it, 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 yeah, when you do it this way as well, when you go, when you go by land, um, there's there's two ways of doing it. Again, two more options. Um, you can do it by yourself, which means that you figure your own way around. You get into Honduras, you find out which buses to go where. There's information online, a lot of information online, um, but it does mean that you would be dealing with cabs, you're dealing with how to get to the uh, train station. Um, and you're doing this whilst going through La Ceiba and also um, San Pedro Sula. Uh, looking around because both um, La Ceiba and San Pedro Sula are actually quite dangerous. Um, San Pedro Sula was the murder capital of the world um, because of drug hotels and stuff. I don't know, I think it's okay for, for tourists, I think. but. Um, the option I've chosen today was to go by bus, um, which is like a shuttle bus. It picks me up from the dock and pretty much takes me directly to um, Guatemala. And then from Guatemala, it picks me up again and then takes me directly to uh, Belize via water taxi. Actually, it's really choppy today. It's not choppy, but... Um, so that's what we're doing today. Um, and it's going to take two days to get there. Um, overland, um, so I hope to show you some of the sites on the way. Um, actually, one of them is coming up, coming up, but we're sailing towards these massive mountains which um, form the uh, northern Honduras coastline. And uh, from you to they look amazing. So I will catch you soon and uh, to get some good imagery. Catch you later. So yeah, it was a bit of an odd start. We're at Wendy's um, because the um, what is it? The, the, the shuttle bus dude service. Um, they uh, have an agreement with the cab drivers, or the ferry service has an agreement with the shuttle service, or something. But you, we had to take cabs to Wendy's and then get picked up from here to go all the way to. Um, Guatemala so um, the shuttle service will pick us up here we're having a coffee it's a bit nutty I mean like the um, cab driver was just driving around everybody you almost hit a guy on a bicycle um, you know yeah Honduras looks all right I mean it doesn't look like it's the murder capital of the world it doesn't look like it's too dangerous unless they cleaned up all the bodies before I got here um, everything seems to be okay there's businesses there's a Wendy's there's you know and I think don't look at the locals too long and you should be okay. Um, from here on out, it's just straight to Guatemala, I hope. Unless something else happens, we have to go to McDonald's first or something. I don't know. Catch you later. change here for Guatemala so it's now the day after and I'm in Guatemala in um, a place called Puerto Barrio in Guatemala and um, it's a very orange apartment and uh, yesterday went a bit um, 
It was interesting. Um, we went into San Petrusula, we arrived in San Petrusula, and um, this is like the world's most dangerous place. Um, and the, um, the cab driver had to pick up somebody else, and he was like, oh, it's a German girl. And I'm like, oh, Karina is German, and I was traveling with her in Utila, and she's going to Belize, maybe to her. Um, and it was, and so Karina jumps into my, um, my cab with me, and so now I have a friend to travel with, which is freaking awesome. So um, we're traveling along, and Karina asks the driver if the car is bulletproof, and he goes, yeah. Yeah. So we were driving in a bulletproof car <laughs> in Honduras, which is um, it kind of poetic. Um, get to the border, no problem, go through the border. Changed all my money because I don't have a, a, a car to draw any, any cash because um, postage to the teller was just going to be a nightmare. So I, I decided to come down to Belize to try and do it here. Um, Belize is going to be more expensive, so it's going to be probably double, maybe triple the um, renting, but the, you know, renting a place to stay wasn't too bad. So we get into Puerto Barrio and he's organizing a place to stay for me and, and Corina. We, you know, we obviously don't have a place to stay. So um, I end up crashing at his place. No, pero yo, 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 pero es que es mejor decirle la verdad, loco. Yo no me puedo comprometer a que los vamos a traer pasado mañana y a la hora, a la hora que está la mujer no tenga gente, ¿cuá? And it's, I think, his actual place as well. So he's now my housemate. Um, we decide to go for some food and Karina can't walk because she's had a, 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 a something cut out of her foot, like a lump cut out of, out of her foot. So um, we're, he drops us off in town and she's hopping around. We get something to eat and then we have to get back he, you know, to, to, to her hostel because he's gone out for a weed, some weed, to, to smoke a joint <laughs> with his friends. So. Um, so I make it back to her place and we're organizing a way to get to, um, you know, how to get to uh, Kaya Kulka from Belize um, because he's left this morning to go back to Honduras, like five o'clock this morning he left, which means that I have to now go and get Kurina and go for breakfast and then take a, a cab to the, um, to the river cab service um, because we're taking a boat taxi from here across the bay to uh, Punta Gorda uh, which is in Belize anyway uh, I think I'll do this in two parts and uh, I'll cut this video together and don't know when I'm gonna have good Wi-Fi to load it up but um, I'll, I'll, I'll have to head out and I'll catch you guys catch you guys later